So we're about to go take a look at uh, my first school, the school that I called home for the first seven years of my education, otherwise known as AVPS, Amherstview Public School. So let's go take a look at her, shall we? So this is Amherstview Public School, right at the front of the building. It's been many a year since I've been here. Again, I was uh, grade six, so that's 29 years ago. We're here at the side of the building. As you can see, we are exactly across the road from where I honed my soccer skills. And the funny things that stick with you, the funny things that stick with you is over here in that house with the red door. I can remember police showing up to the house to kill a rabid skunk while uh, we were out for recess one year. Must have been grade three or maybe grade five considering the side of the school we were on. But some of the things that stick with you. Anyways, on to the school. As you can see, this is the entrance. I would have come in these doors uh, for kindergarten. How the times have changed. The school is a peanut and nut aware environment. So no peanuts at the school. I suppose I should report to the office, but since nobody is here, no kids are here. Nothing to worry about today, I guess. Yet another entrance. Would have used this entrance for grade five, as our classroom was, I believe, that one at the end. Maybe the one in the middle. Don't remember which. One of the two. Dumpster used to be there. They got a fence now protecting that stuff. We used to play silly games in, in this area. Some of you might remember Battle of the Planets and all the rest of that. Yeah, well, like grade three came around. It's one of the things we used to do at recess right here. It used to be tetherball here in the in the uh, paved play area. Still have the four square squares, a little bigger than I remember them, but uh, they are they are here. Missed the tetherball and the playground. There used to be uh, a play apparatus there that we used to play on all the time. It's not there anymore. And I believe those poles that I see there, those are probably tetherball poles. What a wonderful sport that was. Evidence of being Canadian, I suppose. Markings for ball hockey. And when I went to a different school after grade six, I spent a lot of time on one of these. track awards used to be handed out in behind what is the gym. It's a full-size gym in this school. I uh, forget how, how big this building was and, and yet how small it is. Ah, uh, the track. 200 meter track in this school. It's elementary school, of course. The soccer pitch wasn't uh, really there when I was a student here. That was just all, that was uh, an open field between the long jump pits on either side. 
but uh, this is where I began to run track. This is where we ran the 60 meter dash. I was in shape back then. Not so much anymore. My 12 year old self could probably beat my 40 year old self. But this was track. That's the Catholic school. Only a fence separating us. Had a lot of friends that went there. Interesting how the schools never really collided much being this close. More four square. These are a bit smaller than on the other side of the school. Probably because younger students are over on this side. This is the entrance we used for sixth grade when we were upstairs. It's a lot of chalk. tic-tac-toe. This would have been useful. Does anybody know what this is? And its purpose on a playground? It was an interesting mix on this playground because you have grade sixes coming out of this door over here And uh, you have first graders coming out of the doors that we're about to go to, and we would mingle on this playground because you had the grade ones on this side of the school and the grade sixes upstairs, at least when I was a student here. So it was a, an interesting mix on the playground, obviously, at recesses and lunches and all the rest of that good stuff. One final entrance to the school. Here and there. This is where in grade one we would have entered the school. The walk home for lunch and uh, after school to get home always took us to or through Centennial Park, at least for me, because I lived on this side of Amherstview. So here we go. nearly as long as a walk as I remember it. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in this park with friends. Very close to the house I grew up in. Used to be a merry-go-round here. Played various games of tag on that. Swing set still here.
Loyalist Avenue home for 12 years of my life. And we've arrived at my old house. The friends that live directly across the road from us spend an awful lot of time together. Spent a lot of time in that yard right next to him playing soccer. And that's our house. Wow, it's been a while. But for 12 years I grew up right there. <laughs>